Now, the Platinum Jubilee celebration <laughs> has wrapped up with lunches held right across the UK and a carnival-themed parade. But before everyone took to the streets, there was the party of a lifetime at Buckingham Palace. From a cameo by Paddington Bear to <laughs> Diana Ross's show-stopping closing performance, the world tuned in. Monique Wright joins us from the palace. Mon, Her Majesty was also watching from home. Nat Koshy, she was. Uh, the Queen also surprised everyone with this gorgeous pre-recorded message with Paddington Bear. But again, it was the young royals who stole the show. <laughs> Buckingham Palace lit up like never before, with tens of thousands of people packing its surrounds, ready to party alongside a star-studded cast. The Queen, not there in person, appearing instead in a pre-recorded skit with Paddington Bear. Tea? Oh, yes, please. Oh, terribly sorry. Ah. Never mind. Revealing after seven decades what she really keeps in that handbag. Perhaps you would like a marmalade sandwich. I always keep one for emergencies. So do I. I keep mine in here. Oh. For later. A teaspoon tap. <laughs> then became the royal cue for another queen. For the next two and a half hours, the biggest names and biggest hits didn't stop. From Duran Duran... ..to Alicia Keys... ..the stars just kept on coming. Andrea Bocelli. Sir Elton John. How wonderful life is. You're in the world. And George Ezra. Like 22,000 people officially had tickets to the party. The Cambridge children were front and centre. Princess Charlotte and Prince George loved it too. There were messages from James Bond. I would follow you anywhere, Mum. Out of any helicopter door. And so from around the world, heartfelt tributes to too from the royal family. While no one's grandmother thanks them for talking about their age, my own grandmother has been alive for nearly a century. Your Majesty, Mummy. Closing the show, music legend Diana Ross with her first live performance in the UK in 15 years. A spectacular end to a party the world will never forget. If we cheer loudly enough, she might, might just hear us. Oh, it had humour, heart, absolutely everything. It looked spectacular. You couldn't imagine a better backdrop than Buckingham Palace. And I think everyone that was there and watching around the world knew that this is a party like we'll never see again. Koshi yeah. and that. Yeah. They did it so well. Yeah. Good night. Well so done. Well.